What's up everyone, Arctic here, bringing you guys the fifth video in my series on the Razor Academy. Today I will be discussing how to effectively uh, eliminate a lot of the distractions that you guys may have in order to improve your game. A lot of this stuff uh, essentially is common knowledge, but you can kind of fine tune it and hone it into whatever distractions you guys may have. So, a couple years ago I implemented a rule which essentially negated a, a lot of electronic use uh, for our team specifically while we were boot camping in preparation for some upcoming events. And I'm just going to just name some of the uh, key bullet points that uh, we use and that I developed uh, so that we could practice more efficiently. So the very first thing that I implemented was to turn off all types of electric notifications or either um, whether it was like a phone, cell phone or some type of tablet or, or uh, uh, iPod touch or uh, pagers if someone actually has a pager or anything like that but basically what I wanted to do was eliminate the need for our teammates to feel like they needed to grab their uh, phone or whatever during practice and uh, possibly miss out on you know a call if they had actually died or something like that and, and needed to communicate with us or it was just an important moment in a, a particular match and they just weren't focused in a hundred percent so um, that's one of the initial rules that I uh, uh, kind of put into place, turn off all electronic notifications. Uh, now this one, the next one, you can kind of use it however you see fit, uh, but it's to turn off the internet. And Essentially, you know, there's some cases where it's just unavoidable. Uh, for instance, if you are streaming, you obviously have to have the internet uh, enabled on. If you are reporting matches, perhaps, uh, you have to go to a website. Uh, in between uh, maybe your play sessions to report things but uh, what I wanted to do was eliminate the need for our teammates to uh, you know check Twitter check Facebook check YouTube or watch a YouTube video you know right after a, a match or in between the time that they died again missing out on that opportunity to help out their teammates in some way so uh, we had that rule put in place the only uh, reasons that we would not use it again is if we were streaming or if we were recording gameplay uh, that's something that you know we actually obviously need the computer on, uh, but if we were recording gameplay again, that computer was usually off to the side, so it wasn't right in front of us. So we had the need to feel like we were uh, had to be you know checking something on Twitter or whatever or email. Uh, the other thing I think a lot of people don't really clean about, and this is something that I was really out of them about, uh, and I still am, is keeping your gaming area clear of all clutter. So that's like bags of Dorito chips or. Um, you know, bottles of Gatorade or, or uh, energy drinks or whatever. Whenever I'm playing, my play area is like super clean. Um, it's it's really uh, not cluttered at all. It just helps with the visual uh, distractions. That they're just not there. So you can just hone in without seeing too many other things perhaps in the corner of your eye. Uh, so I feel like that kind of just permits a, just a, a better playing environment. And that's one of the rules that I kind of follow. A big one is avoiding arguing during practice. This is probably the major distraction for a lot of teams is that, you know, there's a mistake that happens and then you'll get two guys or three guys or you may, maybe your whole team, you guys just focus on that one mistake so much that uh, you can't get over it during a, a specific match or if you're in practice and you just keep talking about that and you guys, I've had instances where I remember uh, either my team or, or I've heard overheard other teams after the match, they'll be specifically talking about one scenario in a round and they just, they just keep arguing about it. And arguing really uh, is not what you want to do as a team, but what we did is we talked about in a civilized manner you know, after the fact so that there was no, um, you know, feelings that were kind of coming out while we were discussing it on the fly if it happened right then. We waited until the end of practice when we were done for the night and kind of discussed what we felt like we needed to improve on uh, during the play session that day, whether it be mistakes um, that kind of occurred or how we felt like we could have improved. We tried to avoid at all costs playing the blame game, which is uh, very important. Now, if you do have interruptions, try to handle them as quickly as possible. Uh, some of the ways that you can kind of set yourself up for uh, not for failure is to maintain a practice schedule um, and let your parents know or your girlfriend or 
or your friends or whatever. Um, like, hey, you know, I'm practicing during this time where I won't be available from, you know, 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock or from 4 to 5, whatever the, the, the time frame is that you guys can set for practice. That's usually really good um, at, you know, just helping you dictate to your, your friends and significant others that, hey, you, I'll be un unavailable, you know, I will get back to you after this time. Uh, and if you do have an interruption, try to handle it as quickly as possible and let your teammates know. It's so crucial to let your teammates know that, hey, I have to step out. I have to go use the bathroom. Hey, I have to uh, handle a phone call real quick. I'll be back in a few minutes. There's nothing worse. I repeat, there's nothing worse than having a teammate leave and not let you know what's up. And then he's gone for five, ten minutes. And if you're in a practice uh, scrimmage or you're in a match, you don't know what's going on. Uh, and the other guys are like, hey, where's your teammate? I, I don't know. He just he just kind of left. So you guys want to make sure that uh, if you have interruptions, handle them quickly and to notify your teammates when you're going. Now, eliminating distractions can definitely uh, improve your game. And uh, it's something that I did. It helped us win an event. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.